This is a definitive guide on installing Anaconda Python distribution on a Raspberry Pi. Now if you go to the anaconda.com website and try to download Anaconda for Python, you would be ending, download, ending up downloading uh, the x86 version, which won't work on a Raspberry Pi. Now if you go to get additional installers and go to this particular page, and there you would find one particular ARM installation, but this is only valid for AWS Graviton. Okay, so even though your Raspberry Pi has an ARM64 processor, but still this won't work. Any binary which is compiled for AWS Graviton will not actually work in a Raspberry Pi. So this is uh, basically not going to work. So in order to install Anaconda, or rather all the packages that we have that we are going to use uh, from inside Anaconda, we actually have to go to this particular website, this particular repo. Now, this is a particular package and this is under Conda Forge. The project is under Conda Forge and the project is particularly called Mini Forge. And we are not going to actually install Mini Forge. Rather, if you just uh, scroll down, okay, there you shall see something called Mamba Forge. Okay. So actually I would rather prefer to install Mamba Forge or Mamba instead of Conda. Commands are pretty much the same, but this is much faster. Mamba is much faster because it actually uses libsolve for solving the dependency. And um, this is much faster actually. Okay, this is significantly faster compared to uh, Conda. And uh, when you install your Anaconda environment from this Miniforge, whatever packages are provided through Miniforge, your repositories are going to be, all the Python packages will be actually downloaded from Conda Forge repositories. So that is not a problem. And these are going to be actually really, really good. Okay, you shall actually have uh, many more packages than uh, you would probably have through the official package list listing. Now, uh, look into this one, Mamba Forge here. We're actually looking into this one. Okay, the AR64 or ARM64 package. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So we're actually installing Anaconda through using Mamba Forge, and we have to take this one, this particular package. So uh, depending on how you have installed the Raspberry Pi OS on uh, in your uh, Raspberry Pi hardware, you would probably have a GUI, or you would probably also uh, you may also have um, SSH login. Okay. So in any way, uh, however you log in doesn't matter. Okay. You just have to actually uh, log into your hardware and. Uh, for example, I have configured SSH with my Raspberry Pi 4 and there is just one requirement. Uh, if you see that I actually have a 64-bit version of the operating system, just keep that in mind. By default, if you install Raspbian or Raspberry Pi OS on a Raspberry Pi, uh, you probably have installed a 32-bit version of this. So this is not going to work with a 32-bit version, 32 version of the operating system. You have to install a 64-bit version of the operating system. You just keep that in mind. So once you have logged in into your Raspberry Pi, open this terminal this way or however you like, and now you have to now download this particular package. Okay, uh, I remember telling you this. So let's just copy the link here. So since I'm working through SSH here, let me increase the font size. Okay, so I shall use wget to actually download this package. And uh, this is the base Mamba Forge installer. So I shall actually download this package. And again, uh, this video is going to be completely uncut so that you actually have uh, a rough idea about how long it is going to take uh, in your Raspberry Pi probably as well. Okay, and also there is one more thing. Uh, as of 2023, uh, you, you need a Raspberry Pi 4 for this to work. And at least you should have like four GBs of RAM. Otherwise, uh, it will be very difficult. At least two GBs of RAM will still do, but not more than, not less than two GB. Okay. So now we have actually downloaded the Mamba Forge package. And uh, if I just uh, do an LS, we do see the Mamba Forge package, Mamba Forge package there. Okay. And uh, just do this. and uh, bash and the name of the package. Of course, you can just write some part of the name and hit hit tab to actually uh, get that going. Okay, it'll auto complete the name. And 
yes we now have now have come here so is this is the start of the installation process and you hit enter to continue and it is going to get you through the licensing terms and etc you just hit q okay so do you accept the licensing terms of course we do right we say yes you have to type in yes and that will be yes right and now there you have the uh, prompt which actually would ask us to uh, give it the default path where the packages are going to be installed i'm choosing the default path so there is no harm in that we just hit enter now depending on the speed of your sd card uh, this installation step or whatever you are actually installing uh, the installation step would take uh, various amount of time varying amount of time okay depending on the right speed of your sd card we just keep that in mind So when you actually install um, the Miniconda distribution through this Mamba Forge, you basically have replaced Conda with Mamba. Mamba is a better version of Conda in my opinion because this is much faster and it solves the dependencies um, in a much uh, nicer fashion and it does so without breaking apart often. Like uh, If you have actually installed some complicated packages using Mamba, you probably using Conda, you probably have seen that the dependencies are not always correctly uh, correctly calculated by Conda always, but Mamba does it very nicely. Now, once you have that, uh, once you come to this point where you actually have to run the Conda in it, if you don't, if you have not yet uh, done it, or if you don't know what it is talking about, you please do yes, because it will actually uh, put a certain, uh, put a few lines in your .bashrc file so that you can, you can actually get into this Mamba environment without actually going through a lot of hassles. Otherwise, you'd actually have to add the location of the Mamba package uh, on location of the Mamba uh, program actually in your path. So yeah, you just write yes and hit enter. Right. So now, right, it told me that uh, I have to close this shell and uh, reopen it, or I can just do something like this. Okay, if I do that, then actually uh, this Mamba installation will be activated and we see that I have a base environment activated here, okay? So uh, here, from here on, uh, here onwards, you can actually use this base environment to build up your Anaconda installation. And this will be pretty much like Conda. So if you look up any documentation on the internet and uh, based on Conda, you can just replace the word Conda with Mamba and it will work exactly the same way. So now with this, let me update all the packages that, that, that we just installed, okay? So for that, we shall first use Mamba update Mamba. And if you are used to using Conda, you would see that this is actually much significantly faster than Conda. Of course, the first one, uh, first installation actually takes a bit of time. Right. So, yeah, it says, okay, I have so many megabytes to install and you see that it actually gave me whatever uh, packages I need to install. Okay, right. So I just hit enter. ES was selected by default, this capital Y. Right. So it actually updated the Mamba version here in this one. Okay. 
And uh, if you want to upgrade all installed packages without actually breaking any of them, potentially, uh, if you want to upgrade all packages in a Conda environment, you just do Mamba update all. And of course, those who are familiar with Conda, you know that this is basically simply a Conda command. We are just replacing the word Conda with Mamba. All right, so yeah, so it's going to upgrade the Python version. And just one more thing, it usually does not uh, increment the minor version here. It will only uh, increment the bug fix version. So even though I upgraded all the packages, this will not upgrade Python 3.10 to 3.11, okay? Because that might actually break your installation. Many of the packages probably that you have installed might not actually support the latest version of Python. So this is not uh, gonna happen here. Okay, so this is only uh, upgrade the bug, bug fix version here. So here in this particular scenario, it is upgrading the Python installation, base Python installation from 3.10.6 to 3.10.8 instead of actually moving on to 3.11. Even though 3.11 is available in the repository, you can actually separately install that if you wish. You can create an environment and uh, you can actually separately install whatever Python version you want to install. Okay. Commands will be exactly the same as the conda commands that you probably use. And you just have to replace the conda word with ma the mamba word basically. And whatever process I'm showing you here works on a uh, computer as well. For example, so if you have, uh, for example, Windows and you want to install, want to install Anaconda, in my opinion, the best way to actually install Anaconda and managing packages is, is to get Mamba Forge for Windows. You just take this one, this exe file, uh, download it and install it. And then you would have the Mamba prompt or Conda prompt, for example. And from that, you just run very similar commands, just like you do with uh, Conda for example. So yeah, so basically this is much, much better uh, than Conda in every respect actually. Okay, so we actually have upgraded all the packages. Now let's say we want to install a few packages. Say I want to install, I want to install matplotlib. I want to install scipy. Okay, Cython. I want to install um, Jupyter Lab. Okay. Maybe Scikit Image. Scikit Learn. Okay. Open CV, which is a very useful package. Okay. Install Open CV. All right. And uh, what else? Okay, fine for the moment. I guess you know uh, what's gonna happen, right? So you just write down the name of the packages, just like the way you would do with Conda. Now, if you install Conda, if you could install Conda on Raspberry Pi, these packages will be installed by default. Okay, now since we cannot install Conda by default uh, here, we have to actually go through all these hassle here. Anyway, so it is actually telling me what packages it's gonna actually install. So it is actually giving me a package list or a rather a download list here in this one. Okay, so we have that and we just uh, confirm the changes, just hit enter. And the downloading process is also multi-threaded and actually downloads, downloads multiple packages uh, at the same time. So depending on your download speed on your internet, uh, this will be actually uh, significantly faster than Conda once again. Okay, and also the installation process that is also multi threaded, it actually installs multiple packages at the same time. Also, just remember that this process is going to take um, 
varying amount of time depending on the speed of your SD card. For example, in my Raspberry Pi, I have an SSD attached. So the times are a little bit better here. So the download has finished and the installation is actually going on. Alright, so we are finally done and of course uh, if you need additional packages you can always do a Mamba install and the package name and since it will actually fetch the packages from the Conda Forge repositories, uh, so you are more likely to actually find the package, okay, than if you actually use the standard official repositories, right? For example, let's uh, open IPython, for example. All right, so of course, we have the latest version of IPython installed, okay, because we actually did that. So, fine, so this is the installation process of. Uh, correctly installing Anaconda, uh, not exactly Anaconda, but again, again, this is the best thing you can have and uh, in a Raspberry Pi. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.